I want to show you how to use artificial intelligence to knock the credit bureaus out. And I'm going to walk you through an entire process of what that looks like to help you get the best results. So sit back, relax, grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink, because we're going to get straight into it. There are so many ways, right, to fix your credit, but let me show you an effective way to actually help you get the best results. And as you know, the best way to get the best results is leveraging the law. Now with ChatGPT, I'm going to show you how to get the law and then use chat chat gpt to break down the law and then what we want what we want to do next is once they break down the law is just leverage that specific law based off of what's going on with you to then create your letter based off of what's going on so i'm going to walk you through that entire process of what it looks like so first thing you want to do is create an account with chat gpt all right now once you create an account all you got to do is just google chat gpt create an account leverage i mean use your email login and then once you're there now what you want to do is just go to um right here go to google and then put in 15 usc 1681 right now 15 um 15 usc 1681 is the fair credit reporting act all right now what you want to do now is just click on this now as you can see it's going to break down the first law but what we want to do is go to sub chapter three and it's going to break down the subsection of every specific um chapter within the fair credit reporting act all right now the ones that we commonly use is 15 USC 1681I, right? Procedure in case of disputed accuracy. Um, 15 USC 1681E, um, and then 15 USC 1681S-2. And then you can also use ChatGPT to use, you know, just break down the laws on your own time to just understand how you can possibly leverage one of those specific laws. But these are the, some of the common laws that we use when it comes to fixing your credit, all right? So the first thing you want to do is let's just go to this one law right here. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So procedure in case of disputed accuracy. Now, what you want to do is just go down, copy this, copy this law. And then next, what we want to do is just copy and then go back to chat GPT and then put it right here. And then what we want to do is ask them, um, can We want to ask chat GPT, can you break down this law? And then just click on enter and then it's going to basically break down this whole law. Okay. There's one specific law. Now this is amazing because now it just simplifies it. So we can have a better understanding of what this law is talking about. And then let me show you once you break it down, how you can actually create a letter based off of this one specific law. So if you just go, we just go ahead and read like part of it. Now this law pertains to consumer. I'm sorry. This law pertains to a consumer's right regarding the accuracy of information in the credit reports. All right. As we, as regulated by the Fair Credit Reporting Act in the United States, let's break it down step by step. All right. Subject to subsection F, this means that the following rules applies unless specified otherwise in subsection F of the law. All right. Now, let's just go down a little bit more because I'm not going to read everything, but here's um, a specific another section all right so if the completeness or accuracy of any item of information contained in the consumer's file at a consumer reporting agency is disputed by the consumer basically what it means is if a consumer believes that this information in their credit report is incomplete or inaccurate they have the right to dispute it all right so it's just taking specific um parts of the laws and this and then breaking it down so we can better understand it now, what you want to do next is ask them, can, I'm sorry, can you, can you create a letter based off of this law? And it's basically going to create a letter for you based off of this law. All right. So let's just look at the letter and what it created um, for us based off of that one specific law. All right, so your name, your address, your city, right? Your email, your phone number, you don't got to pull all that, but today's date. And then who are we talking to? Are you talking to Experian? Are you talking to TransUnion? Are you talking to Equifax? All right. Now, what you want to do next is just say it has a subject, um, dispute of inaccurate information in the credit report. And let's just see what it came up with. All right. So there, whom, um, there, sir or madam, I am writing to dispute certain information contained in my credit file maintained by your agency as provided by the fair credit reporting act insert the section this dispute um this dispute concerns the completeness or accuracy of certain items of information in my credit file or my credit report i'm sorry 
In accordance to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, if a consumer disputes the completeness or accuracy of any item of the information in their file at a consumer reporting agency, the agency is required to conduct a reasonable investigation to determine whether the disputed information is inaccurate. Furthermore, the agency must record the current status of the disputed information or delete the item from the file free of charge within 30 days of receiving the dispute notice. All right. I hereby dispute the following information in my credit report and describe basically what you want to do is like I was talking about before is put what you want to the, what you want them to investigate. All right. So you want to put all the account numbers right here, the account name and account number and how, and how do you get your account number? Now there are two places you can go to. All right. We do recommend to use identity IQ, but and it costs it's a, a dollar for a seven day trial. The link is going to be in the description. But if you don't have that, you can also go to annual credit report and actually get your um, account name and account number. But sometimes trying to get your report from annual credit report takes a little bit, takes some time, uh, takes some time to get the report because sometimes they require for you to verify some stuff and sometimes people forget. So using identity IQ is much simple and faster to get your report just for um, just for this this part of fixing your credit. All right. So what you want to do is just grab the account name and account number. And then of course you can read this, but most importantly, what you're telling the credit bureaus to do is investigate. As you can see right here, it said the same thing, reinvestigate the completeness and accuracy of those accounts. All right. Chat GPT. And then add two forms of identification with this, right? So you want to add your driver's license and proof of residency on uh, where you live and then send that certified. This is very important to ensure that the, the credit bureaus received your letters and that you know from the time they receive it, they have 30 days to do an investigation. And from there, um, which is important, they have five days to send that back to you. And then next, what you want to do is you can also go back to this law based off of what happened and then just grab that law and then break it down again. All right. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So the next law, right, that we kind of use now, kind of the law that we also use is 15 USC 1681 I-5, right? So all you got to do is just grab this law and then go back to chat GPT, just copy it, right? And then go back to um, chat GPT, right? And then once you're on chat GPT, just say, can you break down this law right here? And then it's going to break down this law, right? Now, give it some time to break down the law. And then from there, you can go ahead and ask them to create a letter based off this law. Now, you can go and do this for every specific law. Like I said, the law works. However, Experian, TransUnion, Equifax be on their own thing. But the best way to hold them accountable is by leveraging the law, finding the violations, and then talking to a lawyer, and then letting the lawyer do what he let the lawyer do what he do to then file a, a lawsuit against them, so you can also get the best results. But like I said, here's how you can go back and forth and create your letters to get the best results. All right. So first thing you want to do is just, like I said before, grab the law. And then basically what it's going to do is just break down that one specific law. So how did it break it down? Treatment of inaccurate or unverifiable information. This section pertains to, um, this section pertains to how consumer report agency should handle information that is found to be inaccurate, incomplete, or cannot be verified during a reinvestigation initiate, initiated by a consumer, right? And then basically it just breaks down um, that specific law. Every part of that law, it breaks it down so you can comprehend and understand what it's talking about. All right. Now what you want to do is based off of that one specific law, can you, um, can you create a letter based off this law? And then now it's going to create your letter based off of this law is it's simple all right so all you got to do is just find a find a law that you believe expand transient equifax violated and then from there what you want to do next is um take that law understand it once you get a better understanding of it then ask them to create a letter based off of your circumstance and then copy that law put it in a word document 
send it off certified, all right? Uh, two forms of identification. Only want to create a letter based off of accounts that's only reporting on Experian, and then you want to create a separate letter accounts that's only reporting on TransUnion, and the same thing for Equifax. You're going to do that for all three credit bureaus, all right? Now, once you do that, let me just show you another law that you can use, like, all right? So another law that we use is if accounts come back verified, what do you want to do next? So copy this law right here. Go to 15 USC 1681 I7. Um, copy that specific law. Now what you want to do is just um, go back to chat GPT. And then from there, just um, paste it and then ask them, can they break down this law? And then basically what it's going to do again is break down this law as well. And then from there, you're going to have a better understanding of this one specific law. Because as you know, when you send a letter to experience TransUnion Equifax, they are going to verify some of your accounts. But most importantly, how did they verify it? How did they come about a hey, everything is complete and accurate? And if you look at experience TransUnion Equifax, and if you compare reports from this month compared to um, last month, guess what? You're probably going to see nothing was changed. All right. So you're asking them to provide you a description. And then next, what you want to do is can you create a letter um, based off of this law? And then just once they um, create the letter based off of the law, then just look over it, see if it makes sense for you, and then just leverage this one um, letter and then send it to the credit bureaus to then hopefully get some accounts removed from your credit report, all right? And you can also use ChatGPT to also help you create a complaint based off of what laws they violated and to actually write up something for you to help you um, fix your credit, of course, all right? Now, as you know, nothing's guaranteed when you use CFPB. However, it's just another form of way to help you get results. Now, let me just show you the letter that they came up with and just see what they're talking about, all right? So your name, address, we already know, put the credit bureau, who we talking to, and then the subject, and then I'm right to request a description of their of the reinvestigation proceeded procedure as required by the fair credit reporting act under this section all right so you just put the section and then as a consumer i am entitled to understand the process involved in disputing information in my credit report and the steps taken by a consumer reporting agency during the reinvestigation procedure therefore i kindly request that you provide me a detailed description of the reinvestigation procedure referred to and paragraphs at um, 6b3 of the fair credit reporting act please provide this description to me in writing including the information as a and then just break down but also you want to put the accounts and the account number that was i mean that was verified when you sent your first letter in and then all you want to do is just send that certify and of course according to this um law they have 15 days to provide you a description and if that doesn't happen now take everything you've done so far and then go to the cfpb and then file a complaint with the cfpb to help you get the best results i know it seems like a lot of work but you reap what you sow and you got to do what you got to do to get the results that you're looking for but if you don't have the time if you don't have the time to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth with the credit bureaus we do provide a service but it's different we do have a litigation team where we'll get the violations collect the violations from the credit bureaus or the debt collectors and then put everything together and submit that case to the lawyers so you can knock transunion out experience and equifax out all right so if that's something you want to do click the link in the description schedule an appointment and see how we can be a good fit to help you knock credit bureaus out